Welcome to another uh, video on LT Spice. Uh, this time what we're doing, we're focusing on uh, uh, how do you do transfer functions and Bode plots. And we're going to use LT Spice to help us do that. And in this video, we're going to use a single pole, uh, simple um, high pass filter uh, to, to, accomplish, to accomplish this task. So let's go ahead and uh, just a quick refresher as to what we're talking about here. So typically we have circuits they gave us and this circuit would have a V in that would come in and it would have a V out that comes out, um, such as a filter or whatever device it has. And they're asking us to find out the transfer function of V in and V out and typically the gain, the H of S is typically written as in, in phasor domain as a V out divided by V in. Um, as we've talked about in the past, we like to plot this as in a logarithmic, log, logarithmic scale and use something called a Bode plot, which what, we, what it does, it basically takes 20 log of H of magnitude of H of S plots that plus it also angles of H of S because H of S is a complex number because these are both in phasor domain. So, so we can do that manually. We can go through the phasor calculation, figure out what the V out is in terms of V in, do the division, to take 20 log of it and plot it over the frequency to see what kind of device we have. Is it a low pass filter, high pass filter, band pass, band reject, or some other things. But the nice thing is that the, um, uh, <clears throat> the system also allows us to um, use LT Spice to do the same thing. So that's our goal today. So what we're going to try to do is use LT Spice to learn about the um, AC simulations and how that can help us do body plots and other other uh, kind of a transfer function type uh, relationships to know what the output is when with respect to input. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. Um, just to start the process, I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and build a very simple circuit uh, with a with a voltage source. and um, maybe a resistor and um, maybe a capacitor so we can build a high pass filter here okay so um, I'm going to build this thing and I'm going to say let's say 8 microfarad for this uh, for the thing and uh, a 10 uh, ohms for the resistors I did a little bit of a calculation and what I'm trying to build here is something that has a cutoff frequency of uh, roughly 2000 Hertz um, as you know the Omega of a cutoff is 1 over RC and Omega is equal to 2 pi F so if you do all the calculation for this circuit I'm trying to build here you'll find out this is basically a high pass filter and this high pass filter has a cutoff frequency at 2000 and by the way cutoff frequency is a point where you got half the power of bandpass going through so uh, so basically sometimes it's referred to as 20 as a minus 3 dB point because that's where the power has dropped off by approximately half which when you take a 20 log off uh, V out over V in would become about minus 3 dB. That's, that's why sometimes it's called a minus 3 dB. But anyway, so the circuit is built. Now we're going to kind of try to figure out how we can use this to, um, to do our transfer function. So one thing you got to do, you got to go over here to the advance and define what this is. Remember, in previous simulation, we could give a specific values here. Now here, what we're going to do for the AC analysis, all we're going to tell him is going to, um, most of the time I say the AC phase, I'm not going to worry about it. It's just zero because it's it's what I started. If you want to put something in there, it's sort of, typically it's not necessary. And what I'm going to do, the amplitude, I just make it really simple, give it one volt. You can give it whatever you want, but 
One pulse is usually kind of a good reference point, so you don't have to remember it's just one. Okay, so this says this is an AC, one volt running here. We've got all of these guys going. Before I forget and get an error message, let me go ahead and put this ground uh, thing in here so it's not float, so my circuit is not floating and it can't simulate. Now, the next thing I need to do, oops, I forgot to say, um, so let me bring my circuit back in here one more time and make it big enough so we can see. So, so, so that's kind of our circuit we were trying to simulate. So I'm going to run the simulation, and this time we're going to use AC analysis. And you get a bunch of options. You can you can do a linear plot, but if you're going to do a body plot, we like to do logarithmic scales on the x-axis, so it allows us to go much larger range without losing the details in each range. And then how many points do I want? Decade is basically when the x-axis is frequency, so basically when the frequency goes from 1 to 10 times 1, to 10 times 10. So each time you increase by a factor of 10, that's called a decade. So from F to 10F is called a decade. And it's asking me how many points should you plot in there. 100 is usually more than enough for what I want to see. That gives me a smooth curve. Uh, the only drawback of putting a really large number in here is just going to take a long, take take a while to do it. And then since I have really, I, I kind of know my my frequency for my filter is 2,000, and I usually like to have 10 times less than 2,000, 10 times bigger than 2,000, so I can kind of see a broader range. But for for this case, I just so we can kind of see a little bigger, I'll just go from 100 hertz to maybe uh, 10 kilohertz. And that should be plenty, so we can see the change and all that. Uh, maybe not, maybe 100 would be better. So we can kind of see some of the slope. Uh, so if we go a couple of decades past our cutoff frequency. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I'm ready to go. So all I did is uh, uh, put an AC value for my supply, define my, uh, my uh, simulation as being AC, and I'm ready to go. So now what I have to do is basically um, add whatever signal I want. I'm really interested. This is my output. This is my input. And my input is 1 volt, so I really don't have to make a division or anything. I can just simply click here, and it plots it. And as you can see up here, it's really nice. that The little dashed line is actually the phase of the output. And this is the 20 log of V in over V out, which I'm seeing, but V in was one, so V out basically takes care of it. That's why I kind of like the one over here, otherwise I got to write an equation and do all that stuff. Now, what I would like for, for us to do is um, kind of look at this graph a little more. I'm going to maximize it so you can kind of look at it. So I'm seeing, I'm seeing this, and this is the angle is over here, as you can see. So the angle goes around. Oh, and I said it was a high pass. Actually, I am building a low pass filter. Oh, well. Um, so, so the correction there, that was a low pass filter I built there, as you can see. It has, it passes in the lower frequency, and then somewhere in here stops uh, passing through. And then my phase angle just starts at zero, and as frequency increases, it increases till eventually goes to infinity down here. Now, if you don't want to see the phase, all you have to do is go over here to the right side, right and right click on it, and just say don't don't plot the phase, and it won't plot the phase. So I'm gonna since I'm gonna focus. Actually, let's leave it here for a minute, and then and then you can go here and change it too. So I'm looking at the body plot, but you can do you can look at a number of different. You can look at a Cartesian with that. What this is this is kind of cool. If I go to Cartesian. What I'm really seeing, I'm seeing the output in terms of the real value and the imaginary value. So the dashed values are imaginary, which appears here, and the, this is the real value and shows up here. Most of the time, actually, we like to warp. I just, this is kind of interesting to know. But most of the time, we like to do the body plot, which is basically the dB uh, on the side, 20 log of output over input and do that. And typically, when we are look, we are looking at our problems and all that, the phase is important. But usually, 
phase is not kind of what we're focusing on. We are focusing on the magnitude, which is this uh, solid line. Okay, so let's let's go put a cursor on it. See if this is indeed a, a gave us a. Um, uh, obviously, it is a low pass filter, even though I was advertising as high pass filter. And then um, so um, so let's go ahead and put a cursor on it, and we put a cursor. Cursor is here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to grab the cursor and move it to 3 dB point. Uh, I'm almost there. It's too far. So right there, so, and, and you can kind of see the value here is, um, let, me, let, me bring, let me bring the dashboard over so you can kind of see it. So this is basically telling me I must not be exact. I'm not exactly on 3 dB. So let's see, let's see how close I can get this to 3 minus 3 dB. Oh, close enough. So once I get to the minus 3 dB, that's a half hour. This is where the cutoff frequency is, and you can see the cutoff frequency is roughly two kilohertz. So yeah, this is a. We have built a low pass filter. And this low pass filter has a cutoff frequency of two kilohertz. Good deal. So, so now let's go ahead and go back. So, so this was um, uh, this was the circuit we had um, here. Uh, all we did was we made sure that the voltage was AC. Put a voltage in there. One is really good. This way you kind of know that's what's coming in. And then you do an AC, um, your simulation, you select the AC simulation and tell him how many points you want per decade, and then the start frequency and end frequency. There are lots of other features in here like everything else in the LT Swatch. You can play with them, experiment with them, see how things change. But the critical one for this is for us to see the transfer function in dB, and this is giving it to, to, to us so we can kind of no, notice it kind of I corrected myself seeing this thing that this is indeed the low pass filter here is the band pass here's the cutoff frequency right here and it's going down the other thing you might notice is that per decade from from here to here that's a decade from 1k to 10k is a decade and then from 10k to 100k is a decade also and remember these are logarithmic scales uh, that's why 1k to 10k is the same distance as 10k to 100k. Um, and if you look at it and look at the drop, you'll see that each decade this thing drops by 20 dB because this is a this is called the first order filter I'm building. It has only single pole, which means only going to drop off at 20 dB per decade. Now, if I want to drop it faster, I have to cascade. A bunch of these filters together which is a topic for a different uh, time so what we talked about here it's kind of seeing how we can use LT spice in the AC simulation mode to create body plots and of course in addition to the body plot we can also do Cartesian and all the other stuff as you remember just right click here and select other things as if this night quest is kind of outside of the scope of my here for us to talk about but if you look. Also, if you if you don't like the decibel thing, you can go to a logarithmic or linear as well if you want to do that. So that would be other ways that you could plot this thing if you just wanted to see the volt raw voltages that are coming out instead of um, <clears throat> you know instead of uh, the dB. And if you notice, you can see the cutoff frequencies at 0.7, which is one over square root of two. Half power point. Okay, that brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching and take care.